What's up guys, so the iPhone X, uh, Apple's new smartphone, doesn't have a home button. Uh, what does that mean? It means it's got some new gestures. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how the phone works, meaning like how do the swipes work? If you can't hit the home button, how do you unlock the phone? Uh, how does all the buttons lay out and how does that little layout work where this got the little screen dip coming down and the screen comes up on the sides right here. I'm gonna talk about all that. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, like I said, there's no home button, uh, so everything works, uh, swiping from the bottom, uh, from the top, uh, and different spots like that. So yeah, of course you got the lock screen swipe, uh, which you can use Face ID with, you can turn that off if you want to, uh, and then you can open apps. So let's say I was gonna open my weather app, uh, and I wanted to close that. To close it, you literally just swipe up from the bottom. That, I think of everything, is literally the most like fluid, nice looking, just, it makes sense. Like that's, I wish that had been on the iPhone in the past. That's what makes me like this. Uh, and kind of gives me hope that I'll be able to get used to not having a home button. Because right now, honestly, it feels really, really weird. Uh, but it always does when they change something up. Uh, what am I even doing? Now for your control center, which used to be swiping up from the bottom, which I really liked, kind of put it in a weird spot. It's up here at the top. Uh, so that's how you access that. And you see like, that was a reach for me. This phone is a nice size, but I mean, even that's like a little bit of a reach with just doing it with one hand. So maybe they should have like added it into the bottom or something a little bit, but just in a different way. I don't know. I just didn't really like it, but uh, yeah, it is there. Now swiping from the middle of the phone, I uh, will just take you to your lock screen. Uh, and same thing with over here on the left. Maybe they'll eventually add something else there where you can just swipe from the left. I feel like that's where it should be. Maybe I need to look in the settings, you can customize that. I'd rather, much rather be there uh, than on the right side. Now my most annoying thing I've ran into is switching apps and multitasking uh, on the iPhone. Because before it was a double tap and you could switch between your apps. Now you swipe up and hold. Uh, so you saw that, right? Well, I messed up there. Swipe that away, so swipe up and hold and that's how you access your apps. I don't know if you could tell, there is, that was not like super fast. So swipe up, wait, and then, yeah, you can swipe through your apps. Like, I don't know, that's just, it's not fast, it's too much of a delay. You see that, like, when before it was just doo-doo, and you could like hit your apps. Another thing, to remove them now, because that doesn't actually like quit the app, like that, see, it's still running. To force quit it, you actually have to tap and hold down, and then you can swipe up. So it's kind of annoying, like I wish you could just swipe them up and swipe them away. They, it's like they added extra features that kind of just make it take longer and a little bit more complicated than just making it the same way. Like why do you have to tap again to be able to swipe your apps away there? That doesn't really make sense to me. Now what am I doing? I already swiped them all out. I'll open up a few, let's say clock, let's say iTunes store and app store. Okay, so whatever, I'm not trying to use it. So I'll show you one more time, swipe up. That, that's the delay, I don't, I don't like that. That's too slow, and then it's like you're on that app. Uh, so yeah, you can't just swipe them up. Why? Why? That doesn't make sense. Why do I have to tap and hold again and then do that? And you can also hit the little uh, red buttons up in the top. But yeah, I don't know, that just, again, adds extra features you don't really need that consume more time. And just to remind you, this is how fast it is on the other phone. Like, see that? That was so quick. I can double tap and it's like right there and I can if it works, I can scroll through all my all my stuff. I don't know, I like that a lot better. It's just so much faster, the double tap. I kinda like the home button. By the way, did you know that this phone doesn't actually even click like that? That little sound you hear? Hear that? That is coming from the speaker. Put your ear up to it and listen, and even cover up the speaker, you'll be able to tell. Now another way that makes it a little bit faster to swipe through apps, but you can only go like one to the next, uh, is this little bar down at the bottom. You see a little white bar down there? Uh, you can just kinda swipe uh, left and right straight through your apps that are open. Uh, so a little bit quicker way to multitask that way, but still, like if you're wanting to go to one that's a couple over, like you have to swipe multiple times. Not the fastest, it could be better. But I do like that though, that's pretty nice. It is kind of weird though, I feel like my finger being at the bottom of the screen down there is just like a little bit too low because that's where my other finger's at. So it's like it's in the way. Now if you got a couple apps open, another gesture you can do to make it a little bit quicker uh, for like swapping apps and, and multitasking, uh, let's go ahead and open up the news one again. So swipe up and then to the left. Uh, or swipe up and go to the right. I'll do that one more time, if I can get in the app. So it's like you can swipe up and then throw it over and it'll swap you into the next app. See, a second ago it actually did it and like open it up. So I guess you swipe all the way over and it like actually takes you to the next one. You can go left and right with that. I feel like it's a little faster doing it like that, but just, I don't know, it's kind of like, it's, it's not, it doesn't feel like normal. I feel like these features will be more fluent uh, once I'm used to like using this phone. It just still seems so new to me. But as of right now, I just, I don't know, it feels awkward. And I'm doing it left-handed too, so maybe 
if I did it with my right hand, it'll be a little bit easier, but I feel like I use my phone most of the time in my left hand. Now, with there being no home button, how do you take a screenshot? Uh, it's actually really simple. You do the volume up button, which is right over there on the side, and then the power button. So let's swipe up. Let's actually get a screenshot of something, and boom. So yeah, power button up and the volume button at the same time. And by the way, if you're wondering what the screenshots look like, because it's got that top spot, uh, it's not actually... It, it doesn't show that that black bar was there. It kind of just shows you the whole the whole image, like as if there was just a background right there. Now, another thing too is Siri and access Siri. You just hold in the power button, uh, which is kind of a little weird, but it's kind of nice. It's like a physical button for Siri, which makes it a little bit better. You can also say, hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. There we go. I did it on my other phone too. I feel like that feels pretty natural though, doing the Siri with the power button. I like that. Now, I know what you're thinking, or maybe you're not. Uh, if the power button does Siri when you hold it in, how do you power the phone off? Uh, the same way you do a screenshot. So volume up and power and just hold it in. Uh, and it won't take a screenshot. It will go like that. So you can go into, whoa. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I'm fine. What the freak? It gives you three seconds. What What even happens then? I kind of I want to find out. I didn't swipe that. Did I? Maybe it thought I touched it. That was weird. Oh my God. Was, uh, maybe it will call 911. But yeah, you can turn off the phone like that. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to test that because I feel like that would be bad. <laughs> oh my God. That's crazy. It scared me. Something that seems they took out, which I feel like could have been a feature. I don't know why they didn't do this. Uh, swiping through apps that way. Like I feel like that kind of goes along with everything they're doing uh, with these fluid swipes and stuff. But now you got to do it like that. I don't know. Why Why can't you just swipe from the side? And you know how like in the last iPhone you could push down a little bit? That's what I'm trying to do. And I guess they took that out. That doesn't even make sense. Why would they remove that feature? Like that, I feel like that works way better than the crappy way they do it now. Again, maybe it'll be something I get better at uh, over time. So yeah, overall, I don't know how I feel about these yet. So I don't really know what to tell you. I, I, I like a few of them and a few of them I don't. But I, again, I think it's going to take some more time of playing with it, uh, seeing what I do like and don't like. Uh, and again, I know I'll get faster at it, that's for sure. But it's just like they slowed it down and added a bunch of extra steps that you don't really need. Just realized I was wearing my shirt completely wrong. Fashion. All right guys, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about them removing the home button. Should they have done it? Are these gestures better? Have you tried it out? And what do you think about it if you have? Or even if you haven't, let us know. In the comments down below that rhymed. I'm a rapper. All right, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos on the iPhone X. I keep wanting to call this an iPhone 8 for some reason, even though it's an iPhone 10. Again, I'm calling it iPhone X. That's It sounds so much better. X is way cooler than saying 10. If there's any videos you want to see me do, I'll leave that in the comments too, because I'm open for suggestions. What do you want to see on the new iPhone X? All right, subscribe right there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.